من حرام بلش المشاير ريال رقم واحد للشعب السوري الساير عايشين صدقين صحابنا مسلمين ليلة لا تضل هيك مثل ما يكفي في المصطلح والفني لانه موقوفين انت شكله ما فيني للرأي مقروحين ما اشبعت صور اعطيتوها تماثيل شكلها عم تبقى صفي حرام وقت التغيير في عالمنا ما في اي طائفه What is really amazing about this revolution, it doesn't have any leader, really. Like, it's a revolution against leader, uh, leaders, actually. And I write in many status, do you want to negotiate with us? Okay, go and negotiate with the street. Really, that's true. If you want to hear our demands, don't take us to your palace to hear it. Come down to our street and hear it. <laughs> Hello? Uh, hi, Cecily. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they uh, they got they reveal uh, they reveal my real name and uh, then they threatened me and threatened my family. So I'm hiding now. But actually, nothing changed for me. I'm still doing what I were doing before. We. We are cyber activists. Actually, uh, I were hiding in Damascus, and now I'm hiding in Beirut. It's the same. It's the same thing. Exactly the same thing. In Syria, secret police were behind me, and now they are threatening me. And that we are tracking your mobile. We are tracking your whatever. We will get you in just a few days, and that's what they are say, telling me like every day in yeah uh, in Facebook. That's the message they are sending to me. So I'm going on Arabic TV station and talking in Malad Omran name. So one of the secret police who uh, investigating me in the past, he recognized my voice immediately and he reported Malad Omran is Rami Nakhla. Yes, that's how it's happened. <laughs> so yesterday when they revealed my real name, uh, this secret police guy, he put in my wall we know you. you, we know you are in Lebanon, so are, aren't you afraid of the tiger of National Syrian Party in Lebanon? They will get you. And aren't you afraid of, about your family? This is in my wall. Uh, my sister got nabbed from university uh, one year ago, and uh, uh, because of political discussion in the university, Someone report her and they kidnapped her. She were in political discussion about the president of Syria and she said, no, he's not, he's not really qualified. He's just the son of the leader and he inherits everything. It's like their family inheritance, they consider it. Yeah, so that's why they arrested her. They kidnapped her, actually. Yeah. He put in my wall. You have today till, till tonight to midnight. If you did not announce your your withdrawal from Syrian revolution, we will get her. My reply was, hey, I were sending my friends and encouraging them to go to the street all these months. And I know they might get arrested and uh, they might uh, get killed actually, some killed and or even injured and tortured. So now when, when it's come to my family, I will not withdraw because I will betray my friend. I will just sending them to the dangers and when it comes to me, I will be coward. That's what I told them. So, so shoot, absolutely I'm not withdrawing. I will not, <coughs> I will not fail my friend. It's like, Hey, Mark, Mark, I'm going to, hey, Mark, I'm going to send يا يا عم عم اسمعوا عم اسمعوا يعطيكم العافيه شباب يا ريتني يا ريتني قادر اكون معكم عن جد It's really frustrating that I cannot be there really 
Come on, all, all my friends, many, many, many times I thought, because what I can do, guys, I want to go there and go down to the street with you. But all my friends tell me, no, you are in the street just one more. But you are from where you are, you are doing really very important job. We cannot do it from here. We cannot talk to media. We cannot, we cannot gather all this stuff together. We cannot get all this footage out. We cannot, uh, we cannot spread the word from here as you can do it from there. You should stay hiding in safe place and doing this. Wow, wow. عن جد يعطيكم الف عافيه يا شباب يا شباب والله والله العظيم نحن نحن عن جد نحن عن جد عم نصنع بكره خلاص عن جد ما عاد في خوف ما عاد نقبل نعيش بخوف all of us all, all the network of activists i'm now talking to someone live in, in skype he's, he's filming like in the protest what's going on and explaining for me what's going on many of uh, people in the street many of them they are activists they are old activists we know them in personal since long time ago and we shared this responsibility and this this role each one have role to play you, you have to go down to the street to film this to talk with us to commit to link us between between the protesters in the ground and us whom sitting behind their computers and we will link we will link the street in Syria for the outside media. Actually, the technology is the key role for us, you know, because without technology, we cannot get this picture out. And if we, and we know if, if this regime really, uh, really know what, what it's gonna to do, is gonna to do it in the dark, they, they, they're ready to kill, to kill everyone here in the protest. <laughs> انت هلا عم تحكي معي من السطح من بانياس ما هيك؟ ايوه سطح احدى بنايات ببانياس ايوه بحمد الله عز وجل بفضل الله عز وجل طالعين بظل هاي الحكومه اللي عندنا عم نطلع من الظاهر نحكي كلمه حق نطالب بالحل طيب طيب كل كل العالم عن جد هلا عم بيسال انه 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 نحن لوين هذا غصن زيتون اللي بايدك ما هيك؟ غصن غصن زيتون لحتى شو شو عم يعبر غصن الزيتون؟ هي رسالتنا السلمية، أنا مثلا بدنا حقوقنا بشكل سلمي كثير كثير حلو، برأيك برأيك هذا الحراك لوين رح يوصل؟ هل عن جد رح يقدروا يرجعونا 10 درجات تحت الصفر مثل ما كنا قبل؟ لا نحن ما بنرضى، نحن نحن الموت عندنا قهوة ونزل، أنا بقمة 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 شعور بالحرية وإذا انكمشت فداء للوطن يعني اما بالشارع على ارض الواقع باذن الله غير موجود موجود قمع القمع بينتهي موجود استبداد الاستبداد بينتهي صحيح نحن نعيش في واقع مر واليم لكن يبقى جزء من الواقع والواقع غدا هو الاكثر اهميه وان نصنعه خير لنا من ان يفرض علينا برايك برايك هلا انت حاليا على السطح محل ما انت ما في اي خطر شو ممكن يصير اذا عن جد هلا انه امن طلع لعندك على السطح اوكي okay. I think the barrier of fear is just getting broken piece by piece, step by step. Is it surprise all the all the world? All the world were saying, hey, Egyptian people will never have revolution. They are completely crashed. Also, Syrian, Syrian citizens, Syrian society were completely crashed. But actually, what's really happening today, today we have hope. And people start to know that uh, it's our decision. It's not our faith, our destiny to be under this regime. No, it's our decision. We can, we can make difference. First, the first method they used, they were just firing on people. Really, they were firing on them. And, and they learned the lesson. When you kill someone, 
100 friends for this person will be ready to die. We show for the whole world the, to what level this regime is really ready to go. They will slap their own people just to rule. Really, really, do you love us and you are ready to kill all of us to rule? But now they have this method. Okay, we will just release 1,000 stick armed person on the people who will, will protest and we will crush any protest in its ground. Actually, they beating them really to death. We are just trying to have a better future, really, because we cannot live in fear anymore. Actually, all this revolution, it's a revolution against secret police. All of it, you know, against the fear, against the, the injustice. People need just to live with dignity without being afraid and without being... Uh, without being crushed by secret police. We have people disappeared in the street for years, people getting tortured and back, people facing unfair trial. All of, all of this, really, Syrian people cannot take it anymore. Can you hear it? People want to topple this regime. He telling me now they, they start to broadcast a song to, to calm people down because all of them chanting we need to topple this regime. But nothing will calm them down. People just... Yeah, the loud of the crowd is more than any speaker. Nothing can calm them. People want to topple this regime. This is... <sighs> I will tweet about this immediately. Now we are writing our version of revolution. Burning the picture for President Bashar al-Assad in Ben Yes now. Yes. Yes. And let's tweet it to the whole world to know about it. In Ben Yes. Now. Burning the picture of Bashar. Enter. Yes! <laughs> I want to cry, really. Really, I want to cry. <laughs> Actually, um, for all of us, it's... It was really a long, long, long day. Um, it's complicated, emotional for me today. I'm so much happy because I witnessed number on the street more than I can imagine. It's almost in every city in Syria witnessed uh, protests today. But also it's complicated because we many people are died, many people uh, wounded, many people arrested this day. I don't know, I don't know how to feel, but it's it's the same. I, I'm always telling myself it's the moment that we waited all our life. Whatever Bashar and secret police, they killed many people, they arrested many people, they tortured many people. Many of my friends are wounded now in their homes. They cannot go to hospital. And this is they they cannot crush they cannot crush people.